have outdoor venison cooking to look forward to. We're on the banks of the River Tweed and there are plenty of deer around. Rhys Hepburn, stalker chef, 22 years old, arrives early to stalk a fat doe to cook and he spots these animals as he gets out of the car. So we've got, we've got two deer spotted um, just in the field over there. So we're going to try and stalk around into them. Um, the wind's probably not that great. That's the raw material. Unfortunately, they wind us and melt away into the early morning. Never mind, not only is there plenty more stalking to be had here, like an episode of Blue Peter, Reese has some nicely aged meat already prepared and a fire ready to be lit. So on the menu today, we've got a lovely um, rack of venison here that I've prepared. Um, it's just been French trimmed off a lovely fat healthy dough that I shot. Um, and that is going to be served with um, some nice pomka cots, so it's basically like a French um, nice buttery potato and it's just finished in butter, um, garlic, some thyme um, and then we're going to do some tennis and broccoli um, it's heavily in season at the minute so that's why I'm cooking that and that is going to be served with um, venison and duya um, so and duya is a, a spreadable salami that's got loads of smoked paprika, chilies um, and fat and that's just made with the, the pluck of the venison um, of the deer and just basically fermented um, into a, a sausage and just the, the fat and the, and the oils from the, the induya just sort of coated the broccoli and just gave it an extra bit of flavour. Reese takes his meat seriously. That deer was very well matured um, for about three weeks um, so a lot of flavour in, in it and the, the, the muscles in the meat was all relaxed and very, very ten tender as well. French trim, so it's basically just a, a posh way of presenting the, the saddle or the loin, you could call it. Snip everything um, around the ribs, yep, and just clean, clean the ribs with the heel of the knife. And it's, it's just sort of presentation. Um, obviously, shooting these beautiful animals, you sort of make it want to look amazing on the plate. Back to the shooting and a walk around this thousand acre farm brings Reese into contact with another doe. Creeping up on the doe produces a buck that walks right past us, almost like it's challenging us. We were stalking in to the door. Um, couldn't see her coming on this corner and then we're just seen a lovely buck in velvet um, watching us. Uh, I didn't think that it was, I didn't think it was actually um, a doe. I thought it was just a buck I seen, but then the doe's just appeared from um, the backside of the, the buck, so hopefully we can try and get a shot on it um, if we just follow around here. Again, it is not to be. Back at his outdoor kitchen, Reese is able to show off about the food miles. Um, that's probably about half a mile. Um, uh, venison and deer is probably 15 miles. It had to go somewhere to be made. Yes, to yeah, back. correct. Yeah. But the venison came from here. Yes, yeah. Um, so that's pretty special. Um, and pretty very very local for the other ingredients and I'm just going to start off with my potatoes they're going to take the longest so I'm just going to colour them in a pan um, with some butter um, and get some some herbs in there some garlic in there some seasoning so they're just coloured in a pan as well um, I use Apache potatoes um, so they just give a really nice waxiness um, and colour on the potato um, I then put butter into the pan um, with some garlic, um, thyme, rosemary again, um, and just coloured them off um, till they got a nice golden brown. Now, you may recognise Reese's grill. There's a story behind that. Well, there's a, st <laughs> there's a story behind that. So, I've been watching the videos for, for quite a few years now, and obviously Kai's and quite a lot of them cooking. Um, so, I've seen his grill that he had, and I went to an engineer and I showed him a photo of it. and I said, Can you please make me something like this, but not exactly the same because I didn't want to copy him? Um, and then came to pick it up, and it's exactly the same. So, <laughs> Reese cooks the venison fairly quickly, seasoned it up, um, salt and pepper, a um, bit of oil, and just on the, on the grill, um, just for some colour on the grill. And then I put it into a pan with some butter, um, rosemary, thyme, garlic, uh, just for flavour. And I just sort of done about 40% of the cooking in the pan. 
and then took it out of the pan, left it to rest. Um, that's probably the most important part of the cooking. Um, that just basically lets all the, the muscles and the meat sort of relax um, and sort of makes it all juicy and, and nice to eat. While the meat and potatoes cook, Reese has a plan for something to pour over the top. Well, we're going to make a chimichurri sauce with that. <clears throat> so that's basically fresh parsley, um, oregano, garlic, chilli. Um, what else we've got in there? Uh, red wine vinegar, olive oil, and that's pretty much everything in there. And that's just going to be dressed over the, the venison last minute. Um, grind, it, grind it together, make it into a paste. And then basically after that, got loads of parsley and um, chilli, oregano, um, give that a good old bashing about and added some olive oil and red wine vinegar into that um, and seasoned it up. Um, normally about one part vinegar to three part oil um, so it's not too sharp but it just gives a nice nice flavour and that's just going to be dressed over the venison last minute. Um, goes goes really nice with it. Where on the banks of the mighty River Tweed in Northumberland? Rhys manages the row on the farm. It's a glorious place to go stalking, even though small trees and gates were hit by the 2021 winter storms. Back out on the stalk, we spot more distant does and Rhys tries to ambush them. So we've seen, I think it was a buck and two does um, running from, from the fields onto sort of the track. Well, I thought they was going to cross the track. Um, so I just got down the other side of the hedge on the bipod, but unfortunately it didn't cross. It's quite hard as well today with the wind especially, um, because they're, they're sort of hiding in the hedge lines. Um, so it, it is very hard um, to get onto a deer, stock into it, um, and obviously get a su successful shot. By now, our morning's stalking is over, but lunch is still on the horizon. Reese's plan is to get everything ready to eat in his high seat. That seat is where I manage the deer and that's also where we seen our reward of hard work um, and I think it's just quite a, an amazing view as well. And what is Reese's outdoor row venison like? Well you, you're the chef so yeah. you would you would say that wouldn't you? <laughs> you know it's up to me to test it. Yeah. Okay. It is truly delicious. The individual ribs melt in the mouth like roe deer ice cream. The potatoes are bursting with butter and the chimichurri sauce lifts it to the point where this happens. My hat's fallen off. <laughs> it's that good. It's burned my hat off. That's yeah. brilliant. It is like butter. Yes. It's actually like butter. So there, as Reese promised, a roe dough in his high seat. You can follow Reese on Instagram, address on the screen.